Okay, let's talk about the setup I got going on here and something that I learned that I'm going to put in the description area as far as how to better handle humidity. Just realized my AC is still on. That's a rumble you don't need to deal with for the whole time, so we'll turn that off. So here is what we got going on in here. Um, you'll notice I have a... I have this the whole way closed. I have the water ports on my thing sealed off, and that's because the temperature is really unstable if I don't. I also end up having to really pull on all the edges to get this to snug the whole way down to get the temperature stable. Then, there you go. So, I also, in my handwriting here, marked humidity low high. On the bottom, there is a small square, and then there is a trough that goes the whole way around. So, temperature's been stable. I figured out how to get that stable. And it is set for much higher because, and this is Celsius because that's Celsius, and otherwise I have no idea what's going on. Uh, because I can't mentally convert numbers, but I want this to be really stable on temperature. But what I learned recently is that um, humidity, you can average it. And right now you can see it's suddenly 50% humidity in there. So it does have tiny little high-low and it's kind of faded uh, because honestly the surface of that hum humidistat blistered up and made it kind of difficult to read during the last hatch. Um, so this is electrician's tape. We pulled this back and have like a little glass here, it's a punch bowl. And in the opening marked low, I just, Two or three times a day and that brings it up to around 60 but then it drops down to around 20 provided that I can get everything fully all the way closed I may end up trimming this um, <sighs> styrofoam yet again for ease of closure, because that's not going to be right. It's got a big gap. When this thing is fully on, it's really snug, and that helps out a lot as far as the temperature goes, because the temperature will fluctuate way too much. We're looking at a goal of 37.5 degrees, so what I look for is it actually fluctuating between 37 and 38, that way I know I'm about halfway between the two and that it's rounding up and down. And that way I know it's 37 and a half because I don't have one with the decimal at the end. I do have one on my wish list and I may get it before the end of this um, particular hatch. So every so many hours, this little motor kicks on and the little egg turning light will light up. You can see I actually have it set crazy high. It's still warming up. But that's because if I don't, then it, um, it isn't high enough at the egg level. So it's hotter at the top than it is where the eggies are. So, yeah, that number's about as high as it's going to get right there, I think if I fill low. If I fill high, it goes the whole way up to 85. But come lockdown, that is probably going to be necessary. Um, and I might be able to open up a vent or something at that point. I don't know. We'll see. 
So that's um that's what we're looking at as far as everything that is needed to set up the incubator and it'll just run for 19 days and at the end of that we ought to have little babies starting to pop out of eggs and I did find that with the AC running next to it sometimes uh, now it's holding its temperature better with the styrofoam on which is a bummer because now I can't see in much if at all as you can see so we might prioritize seeing them at the end but during the actual run that's not what we're going to prioritize additionally if i get an upgraded one of these i would get one that would could connect to my phone so i could track it uh, they're not like hardly any much more and then i would be able to get this out of the way and not have to be peering through the little window all the time so that's where we're at um they're still in their 12 to 24 hour rest here and um they're quite quite glad of it i think these two are almost definitely trash <sighs> this is the one that had the dent in it but I pulled it back out of the trash when I was sifting through all those little foam bits and the box became the kitty cat's bed with the foam extras in it. So the kitty cat is happy. Little kitten is like, yay, but that this one's definitely trash and this one probably is too because it's got poop on it, like a lot of it. Um, but everything else, and I put them in rows of five so that you can see 25 and then between these two sets 30 my share advertises 24 maximum that my incubator can handle is 24 so i have arranged to give away an extra eight or ten i'm gonna load it up in the morning because 12 to 24 hours sounds good to me uh we'll go on the halfway between those two this time get them in that incubator get them going and then i'll know um how good everything's fitting and get it all arranged so all right i'll keep everybody updated it'll be about two three weeks and then we'll have little babies hopefully hopefully okay take care please feel free to like share subscribe um that way, if, and if you hit bells, then you'll get updates every time. And with the babies on the way, that, that, might be, that might be something you'd want. Okay. I'll see you again soon. Bye.